Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. So this is a special one for all the Star Wars fans. We're going to be drawing the Emperor Palpatine. So all that you need is some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. So let's get started. So to start off, we're just going to draw a simple rectangle. So you can either use a ruler, I'm just going to do it freehand. So right in the middle of the page, just draw a rectangle like this. Okay, now we're going to split the rectangle in half. I'm just going to draw a line coming all the way down. We're going to extend this going upwards like that. We're going to cut this rectangle in half here horizontally and then we're going to cut it into quarters so you can measure all this out but I'm just doing it freehand just by eye it doesn't have to be exact so this distance here is going to be the same upwards so just measuring with my fingers this is going to be the top so just going to make a note of that okay Next, we're going to draw an oval shape. So the top of the oval shape is going to hit the top of this line here. And we're just going to bring this oval shape down to about there. This is going to be the head. There we go. So we're going to split this head in half like this. And we're going to make this line slightly more curved, just like so. From the top of this oval, we're going to draw a curved line coming round, which is going to be the top of the cloak. And the same on this side. It's going to come round like that. Now, here on this halfway mark, we're going to draw a circle to the left. This is going to show where the hand's going to be. Slightly up from this halfway line, about midway in between the quarter and the halfway line, we're going to draw another circle. It's where the other hand's going to be. I'm going to draw a line coming up from this circle, just up like that, and the same, just coming around like so, and then a line coming inwards like that. So that's stage one. Now this section, I'm just going to go straight in with pen, but please carry on using a pencil. I'm just um, showing you just very quickly. So using a thicker black pen, I'm just going to draw the top of the cloak. So coming round like so, it's going to come all the way down and up. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So it comes all the way round and then up. And then there's a clasp here, just like that. Okay, so we're going to draw the outside. So it comes all the way round in, out, and then there's a fold here, just like that. And very similar on the other side. And there's a fold that comes around like that. Okay, so this one carries on up like that. And then we're going to draw the shoulder, which comes around and out. So from this shoulder, there's a line coming all the way down and all the way out. Then there's another one coming in like that and then one that comes all the way around and these are going to be the long sleeves. So it'll come up like that. On the other side the shoulder and then it'll come all the way around and all the way around to the bottom just there and then the sleeves going to come upwards just like so and then the bottom goes inwards goes inwards and there's another layer of fabric that comes further forwards to just there and then underneath this clasp I'm going to draw the inside of the cloak 
and then the same on this side as well. Line coming down, line coming round, and then underneath the clasp, it comes all the way down. And then the bottom of this part, and then just a foot poking out there. Can't really see them. Just like that. Okay, so the, the garment underneath has like a sash. So it's like a, a ribbon part that comes down, round and up. And then I'm just gonna draw the sash. Just like that. And there are a few folds and creases, so we'll just draw those in just by drawing straight lines all the way down. Just like this. Do some detail on the clasp. Now, we're just going to denote where the hands are gonna go. So, this hand comes round like that, and round like that. That's the thumb. Then we have the index finger clasped around the stick, and then the middle finger just like this. And then we're just going to draw in the stick, so that's the top of the walking stick. And then we're just going to draw the rest of the stick coming down. So I wonder if you can answer me a question. I was having a debate with my husband and we couldn't decide whether it was Emperor Palpatine or Emperor Palpatine. I thought it was Palpatine, but he reckons it's Palpatine. And I think he might be right, but if you could let me know put a comment in the comment section below so that we can finally settle this. <laughs> so there we go, the stick comes all the way down like this. Now we're going to draw the sleeve going upwards, so I'm going to do a series of curved lines coming all the way down. And all the way up going to draw some more lines coming down just to show all the folds in this, this long cloak and a little bit of shadow under here okay so now the other hand is further up just going to draw the thumb there and this one's held out so that's the index finger the middle finger fourth finger, the ring finger, and little pinky there. So, that's that hand. And then the sleeve comes up round here. Then we're just going to draw the shadow underneath. Shadow going all the way down, more shadow, and then more shadow on the inside. And then even more shadow. all the way down. I'm going to add some more shadow down here and especially on the inside of the cloak. So this is all coloured in. There we go. The cloak's all black but I'm just trying to highlight all the areas where the light hits. I'm only doing the shaded parts. Okay, so now the face. I'm going to actually do this in pencil. So I'm going to raise this part. So where we had that oval is going to be the chin. 
now a lot of the face is in darkness but you can just make out some of the features so you've got this lip and these markings that come around the side you have the nose and then a very prominent brow bone comes around like that and then the same on the other side very prominent brow bone and then these little beady eyes underneath and then these ginormous bags under his eyes is in darkness so I'm going to use a finer pen just to do the detail of the face and then we're just going to color in all the shadows in the thicker dark pen the lips and then the bottom lip and the chin comes all the way down to colour in all the darker patches in the thicker pen, make it a bit quicker, and then the same on this side. There we go, and a little bit more shadow on this one. carry on adding more and more shadows and I'm just going to rub out all the pencil markings that we made at the start and then we're finished. So here's your finished Emperor Palpatine. I've added a bit more shading and shadow just to the cloak here and added a little bit more detail to the face. So if you've enjoyed it please consider hitting subscribe and like and I hope to see you on the next one. Many thanks, bye bye!